Hi, thanks for joining me. So um, today I want to continue with my anime um, and video game figurine collection. This is going to be what I consider the beginning of the first um, kind of, you know, full size, a uh, little pricier, uh, really nice figurine that I picked up for myself. Um, in the final video, we'll go back over some of the uh, older figurines that I'd gotten that were more like um, a, lot of, a lot more capsule toys, uh, souvenirs from like trips to Japan and things like that, and gifts um, from from friends uh, that uh, that got me things. But this is going to be more uh, things that I got for myself. So um, for starters, we have Kasumi from Dead or Alive Extreme. Um, you guys know that Dead or Alive Extreme 3 uh, just came out not so long ago. Uh, a few months ago I did a review for that. Um, and this, though, actually is a series that my uh, friend started collecting. Uh, the same one that did get me my first uh, Queen's Blade figure. Um, but I was attending a, an anime convention. Uh, I didn't even know that uh, there was one not too far from where I've lived um, for, you know, quite a while. Um, and it's been going on for about a decade. So anyway, I, I discovered it a handful of years ago, and uh, so I decided to attend, and I saw this figure there. Now, um, this is a, a series by Kotobukiya, and um, they're all, you know, directly from the Dead or Alive Extreme game. Um, the They aren't cast-off characters, but uh, you might see there's a little hole um, right on her uh, thigh there. And um, that's actually where you can uh, you can add a different outfit over top of this one. Um, their outfits are right from the game, so I think that it's that's a really cool little uh, add-on there. But uh, I'm really happy with how these look. Um, she's got this really cool uh, bit of a, a prop. Um, you know, she's kind of posed on this uh, on the, the pool side. You've got her uh, dipping her toe into the water, um, and it's you know it's a really beautiful pose. Uh, I think it's a it's a really nice figure. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to pass this one up, um, but I ended up getting uh, a few more, uh, just a couple more of these Dead or Alive Extreme, um, figurines from my friend, um, again, kind of like, uh, pr in the previous video, we had been negotiating a, uh, you know, a, a money transaction, and, um, so these were a payment for some of that, so I'll go ahead and show off those, uh, those other figures that I have in the same series. So uh, next up is going to be Kokoro, and uh, it's interesting, um, this figure, uh, this character, and, and the next one actually have turned out to be uh, two of my favorite characters from Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Um, you know, Kokoro was kind of a new character, I forget if she was added in, in DOA 3 or 4. Uh, she seemed pretty new, so I almost want to say four, but I could be wrong about that. Um, at any rate, she's uh, she's a cool character. She's um, maybe a little more like traditionally Japanese than some of the uh, the characters in the game uh, thus far. Um, it's always had sort of like a really international uh, cast, so this was like an, another Japanese character that they added uh, later on. Um, you know, in this figure here, you see again, you've got a little bit of a, um, kind of a backdrop here. She's kneeling on the, the beach, on the sand, sort of right, right in the, um, uh, surf. And, uh, it's, it's really great. It's a very beautiful figure. Um, you know, again, you have, uh, multiple, uh, costumes that the character can wear. And unfortunately, like I had been saying on the Queen's Blade figures, my friend did get rid of the boxes for these, so, um, Kokoro in particular is kind of on, on permanent display. Um, although I did get these uh, images from the internet, um, I had taken uh, photos of Kasumi uh, myself, but it's just, you know, it's time consuming to, to take all your own photos, so, um, so I just ended up grabbing some images for these, but um, she has a, a really nice prop to this um, uh, paper uh, umbrella, which is really cool. I mean, it's kind of like the little like cocktail umbrellas you have in you know a drink or something. But I mean, it's like it's really well made. It's you know it's big. It has to be a lot bigger for um, to kind of you know match the scale of the figure, and it's it's really nice. I mean, there's a lot of just sort of uh, nice details on this. Uh, figure even just sort of like the you know the the tied uh, bow on her um, you know kind of bikini bottom and everything it's it's very very nice um, so I'm I'm happy to have this again despite the circumstances uh, I would have rather um, you know just had it be something I got for myself um, but uh, it is um, like I said it actually is one of my more favorite characters uh, from the series so.
And next up, um, one of my other favorite characters uh, from Dead or Alive Extreme 3 in particular, I uh, really kind of started to get into um, uh, Hitomi here. And, um, you know, she is uh, she, German, I guess, for what that's worth. Um, but uh, here she is, like, riding on a inflatable uh, killer whale, like, toy. Um, so it's, it's kind of, it's like a fun... Um, sort of a, uh, you know, swimming in the pool or maybe in, maybe in the ocean here. Um, and it's a, it's a nice figure. I think, you know, the, the, I would say probably the weakest element of, uh, these figures is maybe the hair, um, just because they're all, uh, painted, uh, as opposed to being, uh, I mean, they, at least they look painted as opposed to being like, uh, you know, a different color, like molded plastic, um, which, you know, it looks good, but, um, and it was somehow on, I think on this figure, it stands out a little bit. Um, but, uh, she's still a great figure, you know, uh, again, you've got the multiple outfits and, um, you know, I think this one is, is really, uh, it's kind of a, a little more of an action pose, I guess. Um, and if you look at the other figurines in the series, they're all, they're all excellent. Um, my friend actually has, uh, I assume he still has, uh, Leifang, who is also in kind of a similar, um, pose. She's, uh, she's actually riding the, uh, inner tube that you can take down the water slide, which is a really fun figure. And, um, there's, a, I remember Tina, uh, I've seen that one before where she's uh, she's kind of swimming. I almost want to say she's maybe snorkeling, but I don't know if that's the case. But um, it's kind of a um, like a diving pose. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, uh, these are my Dead or Alive uh, figures from Kotobuki. I really, really like these a lot. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look now at my Neptunia figures. Um, you guys know that I like the, uh, you know, the Neptunia series of games a whole lot. And, uh, you know, after having kind of gotten into these Queen's Blade and Dead or Alive figures, um, I really decided that I wanted to get some of the Neptunia figures as they came out. So uh, we'll take a look at that. So uh, first up we have Noir um, from the animation, interestingly enough. So this is uh, specifically, um, you know, from Hyper Dimension Neptunia, uh, the animation. Uh, and this is Noir in her... Um, I want to say like more of her normal outfit. Um, looking at it now, I actually, I'd have to compare it, but I think it's like her animation outfit, um, because I'm, I'm, you know, I remember her outfits from the uh, game and I'm pretty sure that they're, uh, they're a little bit different from this kind of her cosplay-ish outfit that she, she makes for herself. Um, so, you know, at any rate, this is a really cool figure. I've actually talked about it on my channel before. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of detail in this that's really nice. Um, you know, you have a lot of, like, little frills and accents on her outfit that I think are really, really cool. Um, you know, I think the colors are, are excellent. The one part, and I guess I'd mentioned this on the previous uh, figure as well, that's a little weird is her hair. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I guess maybe her, honestly, her expression, um, her inner face could be just a little bit nicer too but um the hair is interesting because it is uh like a, a piece of plastic but it's uh, translucent so you get this interesting like translucent look to the hair but um you know i really there isn't much to complain about with this figure i think it's excellent and i think it's really neat having a a figure of noir um you know if i had my druthers probably uh, i would say like nepgear and, and uni uh, are a little bit more, um, like figures, like figures, characters that I, um, am into a little bit more. I just, like, I really enjoyed their interactions in, um, in, like, Mark II, um, versus Noir, but, like, Noir is a, a hysterical character, you know, she's a really fun, uh, kind of Tsundere character, and, uh, and I think she's great, so, um, I, I really, really wanted this figurine. Um, Ironically, they did do a Nepgear and Uni uh, set of figures, and I probably should have gotten it. Um, something though about the the sculpt and just sort of like the the way they like like they captured the character for that, I felt was a little weird. So um, the next figurine that I ended up getting um, for this is actually a, uh, a Nendoroid. Uh, I also have talked about this on my channel before, but it's uh, it's one of um, Neptune. 
uh, and this one is really great. This actually came as an extra um, f if you got the the Japanese version of the final volume of the animation. So again, <laughs> associated with the animation, interestingly, um, of like the it's like the Blu-ray. I think it's like a hybrid like Blu-ray DVD. Um, set and you get this really great uh, Nendoroid with it. So you've got uh, you know Neptune with um, you know just kind of her regular outfit again. I'm I'm assuming this is the the outfit from the animation because they've uh, they've all been slightly different in uh, various of the games and animation. Um, and you have her holding like the the Neptune controller as an accessory you can get and you know the different faces that you can add to it it's a really really cute character and uh, i think it's kind of my first full-sized uh, nendoroid that i've gotten um but speaking of uh not full-sized nendoroids um i also have a uh, pucci nendoroid of uh, of noir again um so this actually i believe came with the special edition of the japanese version of um the strategy game that was uh, developed by Sting that came out on on the Vita, and uh, it came with this little Nendoroid, uh, you know, Pucci Pucci Nendoroid. They're like the the smaller ones. They're just you know, it's a little bit of a simpler figure, but um, you know, again, like a lot of detail in the the paint job and everything on it, um, and it's cute. Uh, I really like you know being able to get a uh, a little figurine extra like this with a special edition of a game. Uh, I think can be a lot of fun, and I, I really enjoyed uh, picking this one up. When I had the opportunity, um, so the final Neptune figure that I have that I'm going to show off is—it's uh, interesting. There's almost a little bit of a—I a, don't know. I, I sort of want to call it a bittersweet story with this, um, but this is Purple Heart, and now uh, this isn't the first Purple Heart figurine um, that they made. They did one before this. Um, interestingly, I was kind of loath to um, to get them. And I'm trying to think why. I think I wasn't really huge on the sculpt f for the first one. But more than that, I didn't want to see them just do figurines for, you know, like the CPU versions of all of the characters. Uh, I really wanted to see them do, like, uh, figures for the normal... Um, you know, like the normal outfits of, of all the different characters. And uh, unfortunately, they've really just kind of, like, they keep cranking out, like, Neptune <laughs> figures, kind of. I mean, they, d they did do that one Nepgear Uni, which, you know, again, uh, maybe that would have that would have been cool to have. Um, and that, you know, like that one Noir figure. And that's, that's kind of been it that I've seen. So, uh, anyway, I ended up picking this one up. I got it through Crunchyroll. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you know, if you, if you subscribe to Crunchyroll, um, with a you know a premium subscription you're probably familiar but uh if you don't um they they have a a shop and um one thing that's nice is you know I'm on their mailing list and they send out uh an email and um you know they'll have pretty decent deals on stuff you know you can get things for like you know sometimes it's just like 5 or 10 bucks off or something but um you know if you if you're uh, kind of keeping an eye out for stuff. Um, I saw this pop up and I was like, you know, I might just grab that. And um, so what ended up happening is I pre-ordered it and I pre-ordered it quite a while before it came out. So by the time it was going to come out, uh, honestly, I was watching my money a little bit more and I probably wouldn't have uh, grabbed this. So that's why I say it's a little bittersweet because like when I got it, I was like, oh, I don't know that I really should have kept that pre-order. <laughs> but at the same same time it's a really cool Neptune figure uh, or you know purple heart so um, so yeah so you know it's got these uh, you know her whole like CPU outfit all the whatever the CPU uh, modules and, and all that stuff and you know you can also do it um, without all of those and um, you know this one I think like the sculpt is really nice like the the face is really good you know again it's um, you know they just they got all the details on this really well so um, it's an excellent figure and um, I'm definitely glad to, to have it, um, but it is one of those things. It's like oh, it's, I you know I wish that they would just make um, you know blonde and and vert and um, uh, you know noir and and all these other characters, and I'd love to get those too. But uh, you know I, I think I'd uh, I'd have a harder time justifying it right now, unfortunately. But um, but regardless, I you know I really wish that we'd get that, but. You know, we got these Neptune figures so far, and I think they're really great. So um, I went ahead and, uh, you know, I've 
I've picked these up, uh, like I said, as they've been coming out, and I really like having them in my collection. So, um, so that's uh, part of my figure collection. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and do just one more of these videos. Uh, it shouldn't be nearly as long between this one and my next one. Uh, I will probably just grab uh, images from the internet because that's just a little, a little faster than me taking, you know, pictures myself, uh, especially depending on what it is. And, um, yeah, I hope you're looking forward to that and, uh, you know, for additional anime and video game related videos. Thanks for watching.